Cy Mandan completes his journey. A cat man highlights a true criminal amongst the frauditors. And two knights do their thing. Those stories and more today as the plot thickens. Rack focus. Good afternoon, everyone. Johnny O from The Plot Hole, and it's time to get a check with our favorite creators on YouTube. Simon Dan is at it again with his third and final installment of his complete debunk of the Eric Dubé mockumentary level. Right, back to today's video where we are dissecting the final third of Eric Dubé's documentary. We catch up with him and his buddies when they start to mock channel friend Professor Dave. Ask any airline pilot what the shape of the Earth is. When they're done laughing at you, they'll tell you it's a sphere. That's not, an, that, yeah, no, the ground looks to us like it's standing still. Did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, what'd you see while we were up there? Uh, this is the blue sky. Yeah, is it flat or? Pretty flat. Pretty flat? Yeah. Okay. Now this is an odd one. No, you can't see the curvature of the Earth from a plane usually. However, pilots should know that everything they use and everything they do on a plane is because of and related to the fact that the Earth is a sphere. Additionally, the horizon is a product of Earth's curvature. So whilst you wouldn't see curve from left to right, you'd still see things appear from over the curve in front of you. Once again, Dan breaks down the fallacious arguments presented in Level, highlighting the intellectual dishonesty from Dubé and the like. Level often comes under criticism, stating that all it is is a bunch of rehashed old pseudoscience that was presented in previous Flat Earth videos. Whereas, yes, this criticism is 100% true, what Level does do, and probably more importantly, Dan's breakdown of Level, is it gives us a one-stop shop to combat all the tried and true flurfisms. Instead of several videos, we can point to this three-part debunk series in order to combat those who have been fooled. Be sure to head over to Simon Dan's channel and purchase a t-shirt. I mean, he's gonna need to be able to pay for a recovery period. I'm sure he's going to need one, seeing as how his brain has taken potentially irreparable damage. In a more serious story, Schrodinger's cat highlighted a First Amendment frauditor who, posing as a good Samaritan, took advantage of someone in need. This next one was sent to me last night by dozens of subscribers just minutes after the news stories came out. A special thanks to VR Salcedo, Jeremiah PMN 187, Lar Cannon, Jaws of Amet, and so many others for bringing this to my attention. This is Minnesota Guardian. But it sounds like women in Minnesota need to be guarded from him because he was just charged with sexual assault. Anthony Michael Wickless, 20, known on YouTube as Minnesota Guardian, arrived at a police scene on Summit Avenue in St. Paul Sunday night and offered a woman a ride home. He allegedly solicited sex, exposed himself, before finally assaulting her with a taser stun gun. He was charged with assault with a dangerous weapon, a felony, consensual sexual contact, a gross misdemeanor, and another count of cons non-consensual sexual contact and lewd ex exhibition, also a gross misdemeanor. From the looks of him, I think it's safe to bet that while he's in prison, his backside is going to be getting audited. A lot. Flat earther Nathan Thompson has left the cause behind. An Irish demon was so distraught that he had to go live. Good afternoon lads and lassies, I'm the Irish demon. No, I'm the Irish demon. No, I'm the Irish demon. No, I'm the Irish demon. Okay, look, we're both the Irish Demon. Lads and lassies, welcome to the show. This is a show to give you guys a bit of an excerpt of a video that I made on my other channel. Uh, it is a lot of fun to make. Do you mind? Seriously, do you mind? Sorry. Anyway, uh, this was a lot of fun to make. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it. If you want some more background information, 
about uh, what's going on in the video and why I made it, go to the link in the description down below and check it out and let me know what you think down below. Uh, so yeah, as I say, this is just like a little short version of it with just the interview that uh, he did. Did you do it or did I do it? Uh, you did it. Oh, it was me? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it gets confusing here sometimes. Yes. Uh, so go check that out. Let me know what you think and uh, I'd really appreciate some comments down below and all that good stuff. Have a great day and I'll let you do it. Slancha. Well done. Cheers. <laughs> punch me in the face. Punch, punch me in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Nathan. <laughs> you know, it always makes me think about that song that you and I used to sing when we go frolicking on our electric boards down by the water. After his split from reality, Irish Demo was able to pull himself back together in order to focus on his future move across the globe. Be sure to give Irish and Mrs. Demon a hearty send off. Conspiracy theorists just can't seem to get away from issuing monetary challenges that are easily met. It seems that Roger from the Mud Fossil University hasn't learned from previous challenges issued like the one Daniel Pratt sent out two weeks ago. Hashtag pay where's Wally. Roger issued a $10,000 challenge asking that all or any geologists prove him wrong about his rocks used to be living organisms or some nonsense like that. Sir Sick rode in on his cow to slay the silliness of this science denier. Elements over here have a whole lot of extra electrons. These don't have many electrons. They want to combine together to become stable using the transition metals to add a few electrons here, take a few away there, and boop, they become stable. I'm sorry, I completely spaced out there, but uh, yeah, how does any of that prove that's how that works? Roger, you can have all the clever, and I use the word loosely, but you can have all the clever little hypotheses that you want, but until you actually prove any of them true, you will always be the subject of derision. But the thing is, you never will because you literally can't. Because, dear Roger, you are one man fighting the tide of hundreds of years and countless man hours of scientific work and discovery, which led to the all important Proofy Boys. Yet you have umpteen zillion ideas on how the world works without being able to substantiate one of them. So here's a 10 bajillion dollar challenge for you. How about you take your best idea, the one that you are most sure of, and prove the shit out of that. Till then, I think you'll find you owe me 10 grand, but I'll take it in whiskey payments, all at once. Should last me until at least Tuesday. Not to be outdone by his counterpart, Radical the Unhallowed Knight broke down a recent failed frauded attempt by PayPal Patty on a Texas Health and Human Services office. Whoa, 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 you just attacked him. We can come in here. This is a public this lobby. Is a public lobby. You just attacked him. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, are this you is doing? a public you lobby. Is this a public you? lobby, yes or no? Pedro. Is this Pedro? Is this a, Is it? You just attacked him. I want the police here. Oh, it makes me kind of wonder who pushed first. Cow Petty is trying to get in. This man pushed back. So who attacked who, huh? Well, I can hardly call it an attack. It's uh, shoving. And Cow Petty lost. Of course he lost. Look at this Bobby Hill cosplayer. Good thing he didn't have his purse. Okay, I called the police. You better call the police because you just attacked him on film, brother. Wait, wait. Excuse, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, but you can't come in here. Yeah. Yes, we can. Is this a public lobby? Is it a public lobby? No, this is for the state. This is the government. The state. Yeah. Okay, right. But is it a public lobby? Is it a state lobby? Is there public access? Yes, we are. If there's public access. Yes. There's public access. There's public Let us in. Don't touch me. No, don't touch me. We need services here. Don't touch Why are we not allowed in, but everybody else is? Where's the public no. lobby? There is isn't any. Yes, there is. There is not. Location. Over there is the, is the public. And on the same pro property? Yeah. On the same property, yes. Yeah. So this, what this is this? This is eligibility services. Okay, so, so. Look at who. Okay. Yes, it is. It says, okay, so. <laughs>
the hell was that, Nomad? Was that wordy bit a bit too hard? Eligibility service. Come on, man. Are you refusing to English? Well, I, he probably couldn't read it. He just heard the word and couldn't pronounce it. It seems Radical hasn't suffered enough from self-inflicted pain, as he's gone from Glen Sierra to News Now Patrick. Having dealt with Texas Health and Human Services personally, I can tell you that eligibility services is not open to the public. You have to make an appointment in order to be seen in that office. And no, you're not allowed to film, for obvious reasons. Radical, whatever crime you think you've committed, you've more than paid for it. You don't have to subject yourself any further to these idiots, though it is hilarious. Finally, if you're going to try and convince the world that your billionaire versus billionaire space race isn't a giant dick measuring contest, then you're going to have to explain this. Just nine days after Virgin Air mogul Richard Branson reached suborbital space, Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos took to his rocket in order to go deeper into space. Make no mistake, this is simply one mega wealthy guy outspending the next. With a combined net worth of $190 billion, the two rich guys decided to take a quick stroll to space. Instead of paying their employees, you know, the ones who helped put all those billions of dollars into their pockets, a decent living wage. Sorry, not sorry. This whole billionaire space race, I mean, as cool as it was, is nothing more than two rich playboys flexing their wallets. Jeff Bezos spent $5.5 billion just to spend four minutes in space. Bezos spent more money in one minute than the average household would make over the next 22,000 years. Look, I'm a proponent of space travel, and I would love to see commercial space travel available before I wander on down the road. But this is outrageous. How many Amazon employees had to do without because Jeff Bezos had to fly his dick farther and deeper into space than the last billionaire? Where are our priorities? I'm not suggesting that Bezos or Branson shouldn't enjoy a trip to space. I mean, if they paid for it, why not? What I am suggesting is that wealth distribution is way out of whack. Bezos has enough net worth in order to make that 5.5 billion four minutes, make that trip 33 more times. And before I get to that idiocy of those who would argue, well, they earned it, let me go ahead and stop you right there. Yes. Bezos and Branson have worked to earn the money they have on the backs of the everyday common person. And I'm not saying they have to be paupers, but they can afford to pay their employees way better than they do. And that's our show. If you enjoyed yourself today, do me a favor, hit that like button, uh, share this with your friends on the socials, on Twitter and Facebook. Make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel. Tickle that notification bell. That way you get notified next time I put out a video. As always, I'm Johnny O, and I'll be sure to keep you updated as the plot thickens.